Cheap hosting is how people accidentally overpay later. That sounds backward, but it happens all the time. A lot of low-price web hosting plans look amazing at checkout, then quietly double or triple in cost when it's time to renew. So, if you're searching for the low-price best web hosting in 2026, the real goal isn't just finding the cheapest intro deal. It's finding a host that stays affordable, performs well, and doesn't surprise you with expensive renewals. Here's the big idea most beginners miss. Almost every hosting company shows you a discounted first-term price, but the renewal price is what you'll pay long-term. That's where the real cost lives. Some cheap hosting plans start at just a few dollars per month, but after a year or two, they jump to two or three times that amount. On top of that, performance can suffer if the servers are overloaded or the support isn't great. So let's walk through a few popular budget web hosting options and what they're actually worth. First up, Hostinger. Hostinger is usually the best balance of low price and solid performance. Their intro pricing is affordable and their renewal rates are still reasonable compared to most competitors. For blogs, small business sites, and basic online projects, it's fast enough, easy to use, and doesn't feel risky. If your goal is best value hosting without sacrificing reliability, Hostinger is hard to beat. Next, Namecheap. Namecheap is great for domains and very basic hosting. If you just need a simple site or a landing page, it's fine. But it's not performance focused. If speed, scalability, or heavier traffic matter to you, you'll likely outgrow it quickly. It's cheap, but it's more budget basics than long-term solution. Then there's DreamHost. DreamHost is known for being WordPress friendly and offering long money-back guarantees. Their pricing is fair and their renewal costs are more transparent than many hosts. It's a strong option if you want something simple and stable for a WordPress site. It's not always the lowest price, but the value is solid. Bluehost is another name people recognize. Bluehost is easy for beginners, especially if you're building a WordPress site for the first time. Their onboarding is smooth, but the renewal pricing isn't always the cheapest long term. It's convenient, but not always the most affordable choice over time. You'll also hear about hosts like A2 Hosting and Green Geeks. Both offer decent performance and have their own strengths, but they're usually a bit more expensive than the true budget options. They're good alternatives if you want specific features, but not necessarily the cheapest route. So what's the takeaway? The low price best web hosting option isn't just about saving a few dollars today. It's about avoiding high renewal costs, slow servers, and frustrating support later. When you compare affordable web hosting in 2026, you want to look at intro price versus renewal price, speed and uptime, ease of use for beginners, support quality, long-term value, that's why Hostinger stands out for most people. It keeps prices low without cutting corners that matter. It's fast enough, beginner-friendly, and the renewal rates don't feel like a trap. If you're building your first site, a blog, or a small business website, you don't need enterprise-level hosting. You need something reliable, affordable, and simple. And in the budget web hosting space, Hostinger checks those boxes better than most. Links are in the pinned comment and description. If you use the Hostinger link, the discount is automatically applied. That way you can see the current pricing for yourself and decide if it fits your needs.